Hi, this is room 112, it's day 11, and it's a great day. It's sunny, not a cloud in the sky, birds are chirping, the suns are here, we're here, we're gonna continue to be here, and everything is okay. Um, I did my chore earlier today, fixed, uh, fixed the flag, we ordered a new flag, so we got two new historical flags coming, and we'll do a special episode about them when they come. But for now, let's go inside and have a sneak peek of what today's lesson's gonna be. Well, it's day 11, so that's a little bit of a hint. And my friend said, you know what? We haven't had math for a while, so we're gonna have a little bit of a math lesson today. All right, so we're coming in. And since it is day 11, my mind started thinking, and before we get to my usual spot, we're gonna sneak here and go into where my dresser is because I need a couple things. I'll need this. This is us. I forgot to give this to a friend and we'll be talking about that. And a picture of my son and daughter. One of my favorite pictures of them and we'll be talking about that too. Hmm. So we got, this is us. We got a picture of my kids and we're talking math. What could it be? Well, our hint was in the fact that it is day 11. And 11 is a palindrome. A palindrome is from a Greek word, and it means uh, running, uh, running back again. So you can be read backwards as the same as forward. And usually when we think of palindromes, we think of words. And we think of pop, we have dad, we have mom, we have Deed, we have radar, and we have race car. I got that from my wife. She does, this is where she usually sits, and she does a, uh, like a word search for every day of the calendar. And uh, we had palind palindromes. So we were thinking some palindromes. And then we were thinking, wait, today's the 11th, so what are we doing for numbers? And I got the number 16461. So you read it the same forward as you do backwards. And some other common palindromes are 11, 22, and yep, figure the pattern, 33, 44, 55, 66, 60, uh, 77, 88, 99, 101. So the ones number and the tens number are the same. We usually read numbers going from, uh, you know, the largest tens and then ones. But what if I say ones to tens and the numbers are the same? 33, 44. Now, what about if I did from the hundreds? Usually we read numbers from hundreds to tens to ones. But what if I read it ones, tens, hundreds? And we have the same thing. 111, 121, 131, 141, 151, 161, 171. You see the pattern, 181 and 191. Those are all palindromes. They could be read forward as the same as backwards. And we had them with the, the words, dad, mom, dear. I think the most famous phrase that we always get is, madam, I'm Adam. So then when we're switching our page here, if, if I switch my page, it got me thinking. And you're, you know, when you're making these tapes, so I thought, wait a second, it's room 112, it's day 11, and the sunshine. So then I thought about math. And then when I thought about math, I thought of my friend Dan. And Mr. Schroeder, you often see him at school. Him and I usually talk in the lounge and we talk about This Is Us. Every Tuesday after the episode, uh, Wednesday when we're by the copy machine, I'll say, Mr. Schroeder, did you watch the show? And he said, yes. And we'll talk about This Is Us. And I got this magnet for him and I thought, oh, I forgot to give it to him when we went to New York. So I was thought about Dan. And then I thought about friends and family. And I thought, oh, we had math. So immediately I thought of Mr. Wilson, and I thought of Mr. Schroeder, Ms. Perez, Ms. Bynum, Ms. Corkin, Mrs. Barracino, Mr. Krause, Mr. Lambert, Ms. Williams, and Mr. Epperson. I thought of all those famous, uh, not famous, but really neat uh, math teachers that we had at Kennedy Middle School. And they used to do an awesome job and still do. So then I thought of family. Well, we're thinking about friends, then we're thinking family. So then I thought of my daughter, Katie, 
and my son, Andrew. And this was like many years ago, but it was one of my favorite pictures of Andrew and Katie. And you're thinking, why are you taking a picture of Andrew and Katie? Well, because if you would look in our lesson plans, it's the letter K. K and Katie. So that would be one of the things around my house that started with the letter K. So then I thought of Katie and I thought of essential workers. Because my daughter now, Katie, is older and she works with people in, uh, in a nursing facility. So she's taking care of them. In this time of our, our crisis, she's an essential worker, and she was always essential to us. But now she's doing some healthcare work and putting herself on the line, just like firemen, um, policemen, uh, garbage men, uh, the person selling gas at the gas station, grocery workers, the UPS guy, the Amazon guy. Um, all those guys who we come in contact every day are essential workers. And that's how we got, we were banging on our drums the other day, just at seven o'clock, just thinking about them and saying, hey, they're in our thoughts, they're in our prayers, and I hope that they're okay. And so when we're thinking about these essential workers, and we're thinking about this time of not having school, and we're making these video uh, tapes into YouTube, it got us back to, and I see there's a glare, but it's back to our son. Because we're here. We're going to continue to be here, and everything's going to be okay. So on this day, I hope you uh, see some patterns that you see. Um, maybe you see a pattern in nature. Maybe you see a pattern with, with some numbers. Uh, my nephew, uh, Gary, sometimes he has just math time, and he just thinks about math. So maybe you might think of some patterns, like some geog geometric shapes and making a, a pattern, or uh, making a pattern with some numbers, or a code, or with music. Somehow think about some patterns that you see. Um, it could be in fabric, anything like that. And then um, you just might be think of some words or think of some numbers um, that are, are palindromes. But I just wanted to reinforce the fact that we're here. We're gonna to continue to be here. The last couple of days, I wasn't on my A game, kind of cloudy, but the sun is out. Our suns are always out, but it's bright, sunny day. I might just even make my homework or just with my parents' permission, uh, go for a walk. I think my wife and I are going to go for a walk later on today. So um, take care. I hope you're well, and um, we'll see you. This is Room 112.